Hi, hey, uh, I'm going to show you how to change the font on the table of contents. Okay, um, click into the table of contents and you right click and you can see the styles being populated. So if I want to change it to normal, the table of contents under the style, I click normal. The table under the table of contents, if uh, the style come up, it will be normal. So if I want to change the style again, I right click on my mouse, I select a style, and if I want this style, I just uh, under heading three, I just click, and the new style will appear. So it's, it, it will give you the different style. You can see the different style if you whichever style that you wish to have. Then under heading 2, heading 3, so I select heading 3 for this. And if you want to change um, the other chapters, the heading 1 and heading 2 in your table of content, um, what you need to do is click at the top references under drop down table of contents. You click insert table of contents and from this um, dialog box you click modify. Okay, under heading one, um, let's say if you want to change the table of contents all to um, font 12 and bold, so you need to go in POC1 modify and we change the font to 12 and we bow it. Okay, so all the heading one, which is now named POC one, will come out as font twelve. So do you want to replace selected table of content? You click OK. So heading um the the POC one will now appear as font twelve bow. So for the same thing for the heading 2 or POC2, you go back to references, table of content, and you click insert table of content, and you click modify, then you select POC2, and we change it to font 12 and bold. You click modify, you change it to font 12, and you bold it, and then you click OK and OK again. Do you want to replace selected table content? Yes. So all now will appear under the TOC as um, font 12 for TOC 1, TOC 2. Then here, okay, this, this, we need to get rid of it. Uh, later I'll see how we go about it. So now you can see the table of contents, we have standardized the size to the font 12. And okay, um, see, let's say I want to get rid of this um, under this table of contents. What I'll do is I'll click here, go home, and then just apply under normal. And when you come to table of contents, click in the table of contents, update. Click update table, click update entire table, and the paragraph will go away. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.